What's up guys, this is Odds Are here bringing you guys week one of Remnants and we are facing easy pickings and uh, this week he has a very very scary team versus me and honestly, um, spoiler, we do not do too well against this team. We have a very bad matchup and I did not prep correctly enough to fix that bad matchup. So if you want to know the t TLDR, we get 5 owed. and. I do happen to get a kill, but that was only because he allowed it. Basically, he could have probably gotten a 6 so if he wanted to, but you, if you want to know how uh, how I played so poorly, we will get into that in a second. But uh, if you want uh, to hear my team a little bit, I have a Alola Marowak, a Rotom Mo, uh, a Porygon 2, a Mega Mawile, a Skull Pete, and a Buzzwall. That is the team I decided to bring. I don't exactly remember the sets because it's been quite a while. And uh, yeah, uh, you'll, you'll just see in a second like what I, what I move. I'll talk about it and so on and so forth. Um, with his team, he brought Megmanetric, a Salazzle, Lando T, uh, Zatu, Kofagurgus, and... Suicune, those are the six mods he decided to bring, but let's hop right on into this. And uh, he leads with Mega Manetric, I lead with Skullpede, and he will Mega Evolve. I take a Intimidate, and I will click Protect. Honestly, this is one of my worst leads possible, and I pretty much can't do anything to his team while being minus one. I do Baton Pass, though, for my turn two, and I will switch into Buzzwall. For some reason, I do know Zatu's on the field but I somehow go into Buzzwall, or decide to go into Buzzwall. That was a very misplay. I went into Porygon 2, got a plus one attack, and uh, I got Toxic by the Zatu. It was, that's not really great for me. And I will just cl keep, uh, I will keep clicking Ice Beam, basically trying to uh, whittle this thing down. He does reveal the Roost, and I will just go into Rotom, click Trick for some reason. I really should have just clicked T-Bold. I thought Lando T was coming in. I don't know why I was wanting to give a scarf to Lando T. But uh, that was always an option, I guess. I'm not exactly sure why I was wanting to do that. I think for some reason, like, all right, I just want to use this thing, so I'm going to use this thing. I don't think I'll ever do it. And I have a very bad pro problem with that. That's why I lost IPI season finals because I just wanted to show off mirror coat on my Lotic for some reason. Instead, I could have just went easily into Coco, but that's a different game. Let's go into this game. So I, I'm pretty much, I got Lutchies with Rotom, Rotom Mo. He is now a short scarfed uh, Zatu, and I think I do forget that somewhere down the line of the game. And he does miss a Fire Blast with Salazzle. He, uh, that is honestly really, really good for me because P2, I need to be healthy. And uh, basically, I still lose one mo one mon to Salazzle, and that is Alolan Marowak. I I really do need to start protecting a lot more. I know I know the protect was very very obvious, and he capitalized that on going to Lando. If I would have just uh, if I would have just uh, clicked, uh, I, I think it's not Waterfall. It's Aqua Tail. That's what it is Aqua Tail. If I would just clicked Aqua Tail, I would have been in a better situation. But if Salazzle would have attacked, then I would have been in a very, very bad situation. And uh, honestly, that was probably the play. Even if that happened, I could just click Aqua Tail versus Salazzle. If he missed the Fire Blast, I do end up li uh, I do end up living because of it not hitting me, of course. But I am behind, like I will be for the rest of the game. He does get rocks up, and uh, he will just immediately U-turn into Cofagrigus. I click Ice Punch, predicting the... Lander Starion because I have no reason not to. And he does reveal he's just going to bring out Cofagrius, and I will decide to taunt Cofagrius because that's pretty much the best way for me to deal with it with my team. I don't have very great answers to Cofagrius, and honestly, I don't have great answers to either Lander, Landers and uh, Manetric. I probably should have brought like something like, uh, what's it called? Uh, Gro not Grovile, uh, Gliscor. That's what uh, that's one thing. Of. I should have brought something like Gliscor, maybe with Air Cutter, and just be able to break through this team without getting any Intimidate drops on it. Maybe bring it Scarfed, something like that. Just so I can basically deal with m like the majority of his threats. Like I can deal with Mega Manetric, I can deal with Salazzle, 
and honestly, I can probably deal with Landorus pretty well if I like do enough attack investments into it. Maybe some Ice Fang, possibly even a Freeze. That would be very, very nice. Uh, but with that set, it gave, it was limited with uh, like with Cofagrigus. I can't really hit that too much. And uh, with Suicune, I basically can't hit at all because most of the time Suicunes will be running Ice Beam. And I am getting off track. Uh, we have quite a bit of a game to go. I do bring out Mega Mawile, and I will just click... Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I clicked, but he does go out... I click U-turn with... Uh, uh, with his Zatu. I think I clicked Ice Punch here, bringing the Landris down to about half. And, um, yeah, I do end up switching out into Rotom here, and he will click Earthquake, doing uh, no damage because I am a Levitate user. Um, after that, he will bring out Minetric. I will click Leaf Storm, doing about 80% to him, and I will decide to switch out into Porygon 2, uh, predicting something like, um, like Fire Blast or Flamethrower, hoping... Uh, form to uh, kill a Rotom, so I want to uh, reserve Rotom because he's actually very important for me to kill Andrus and kill Suicune. I do need uh, a healthy Rotom for those two. And uh, but he decides to just Toxic for some reason, which honestly isn't a terrible plan if he was able to Toxic something like Rotom. But that does show me that he has pretty much nothing for Rotom. He doesn't have any flamethrower or anything like that. I will just throw off a. T uh, Sorry, I'm getting a little bit behind. I uh, do just throw off a... <coughs> mm. uh, my throat's killing me here. Uh, but uh, my Porygon 2 d does throw off a uh, Thunderbolt, trying to get as much damage off on the Suicune before it does die to Toxic. There was no real reason to try and Toxic stall or anything, in my opinion. Uh, if I did, I could possibly like recover up. But he has just so many things, and a Toxic Porygon 2 is not very useful to this team but I do bring out Rotom and then I just click Leaf Storm here he does see that I clicked up Leaf Storm he's and I probably should have switched it up clicking P-Bolt because it's a fairly obvious play if I click Leaf Storm twice then I will probably click it once again but I should have just clicked T-Bolt uh, making a very obvious switch to Zatu but he does eat up a Leaf Storm fairly easily Honestly, here, I probably should have T-bolted or something along those lines, but he does just go out into Landris Therian, so I click Defog getting away. Yeah, I got rid of, I uh, used Defog getting rid of the rocks, and uh, I am in a bad situation here because nothing really wants to take anything from Landris. Like, uh, my best option is just to let Rotom go down, basically, because Mega Mawile can't touch it, Skullpea can't touch it, uh, Buzzwell can't touch it, or it can touch it, but it can't do much back to it. I know I do have Ice Punch, but he, uh, Landorus will probably still outspeed and uh, possibly kill me. Honestly, my thought process was this turn. Uh, Landorus was not a ground type, for one thing, in my scenario. But since Landorus is a ground type, I clicked Volt Switch. It does nothing. I was very upset at the time. I thought this was just a very poor... Um, knowledge of uh, this just shows that I don't have much knowledge in the game even though I do and I know what I'm doing most of the time this game just does not show it and he gets a uh, crit with a u-turn I'm not exactly sure if that matters it probably does I probably could have lived that u-turn and been able to do uh, and been able to be perfectly fine I do click protect once again which honestly I need to start predicting stuff like um, if I would have just clicked uh, aqua tail there or even clicked EQ or something along those lines, me to live it, and then our, since I wouldn't take any damage, I'd just be able to get that free kill off of uh, Minetric, and possibly not even uh, take an Intimidate? I'm not sure, if, I don't think that's how it works. I, I, yeah, I think it, uh, I still take Intimidate, even if it just switches in on me and not really attacks me. So, um, uh, Manetric does go down, I get plus two speed, and he does go into Cofagrigus. I can't I can't touch this thing with anything I have left. I'm just trying to get as much damage as I possibly can, so possibly maybe, maybe Mawile or something will be able to deal with it. But instead, I uh, just end up going for a Baton Pass on Mawile on minus one speed, and uh, his Shadow Balls does about 30% to me. I click Iron Head, it does... 
he does about 30% to me, or to him, and I lose my huge power, which honestly is a very big deal, and also I get burned, so I'm doing even less now. I click Iron Head, it does about 7%, he clicks Shao once again, and I will click Iron Head one more time, doing about 3% to the Suicune that he just switched in. Um, with that, I click player off just finishing off Maul because it's basically it basically did its job. It can't do anything else at this time, and I have no way of winning. I would try for differential, but I can't break the Suicune, and I cannot break this uh, Kofagrius. Even though Kofagrius is at like 12%, uh, both my mons are burned, and I don't think they can really touch it too well. And same thing with Suicune. I, I just can't touch this thing. And like I click Megahorn, it does nothing. I uh, have Aqua Tail and I think Poison Jab, which honestly probably won't do anything better. I don't, actually, I don't know if I have Poison Jab on this. I think I, uh, yeah, I don't I don't remember the last move, but I do have Baton Pass. I do go into Buzzwall. He clicks Scold, brings me down to 1 HP, and I cannot kill this thing with Buzzwall, and I will just go down to Buzzwall. Or I'll just go down to Suicune here with Buzzwall, and then Skull people will follow the turn after. So. This is a 5-0 uh, win for easy pickings, and that is my week one for the uh, Remnants League. Honestly, for week two, I do believe I can bring it back and possibly pick up a win. And honestly, after this game, I got a lot used to team building, and I know what I'm doing whenever team building. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, li like I said, I've already done my week two. I've already done my week three as well, and uh, hopefully uh, we can uh, I can show those to you guys, and there'll be wins hopefully and anyways hope you guys do enjoy this video for week one of remnants this is honestly a very sad excuse but easy picking did play extremely well he was able to pivot back and forth between landris and uh and uh, uh mega manetric to uh get pretty much always have a intimidate on one of my mods so i am i was very uh it was very bad of me to uh not bring any anything to kind of counter that i should have had glyph score that would have helped a lot probably some other mons maybe maybe even bring trick room stuff like that would have helped a lot and i could have possibly picked up a few kills that way it would have been a lot closer of a game if i would have brought a few better mons something that uh, would have helped me deal with stuff like half is a lot better stuff like um and maybe even deal with lando a little bit better if i had trick room up with that um with that uh, Mawile, I could have possibly swept a little bit, you know, like I clicked Ice Punch and then I could click Ice Punch again, stuff like that, and then be able to kind of sweep the rest of his team with that. But sadly, I did not either bring it or I didn't use it, so. Uh, so that was my week one. Anyways, I am repeating myself. Hope you guys do enjoy week one, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.